Hey guys, Wicked here. Welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we're going to go through the Dragloon attack strategy at Town Hall 8 level. In my experience, Dragloon is one of the strongest strategies until you upgrade your hogs to level 4. Although a strong attack, Dragloon raids don't often get seen past Town Hall 8, due to the fact that the Lava Hound attack strategies are far more superior to achieving a 3 star. Also, the introduction of the Air Sweeper and Skeleton Traps has also nerfed any dragon attacks from its glory days. The reason why we use the dragon and loon combination is because dragons do not have a favourite target. They will go to the closest structure in its path, while the loons will often come from behind the dragons to take out the defences. These days clashes at Town Hall 8 are making their bases more anti-dragon inclined, so we as the attackers can't just simply spam the deploy button and hope for the best. You need to follow some simple rules and deploy tactically to achieve that 3 star. Today I have 3 replays to show you, showing the general rules and principles of achieving a 3 star with Dragloon. Number 1. Choosing a side to attack from. I generally like to attack a base from the side that there are two air defences that are in line with each other. So when the dragons come in in line, or in a group, they will wipe out two ADs at the same time. Generally the air sweepers at this town hall level are quite low, so a lot of my clan members don't really worry about it. Although you can put a good rage spell to counter the air sweeper effect. Number 2. The most important thing to do in a drag loon raid is you have to funnel to get to the air defences which are usually located in the centre of the base. In the replays I'm going to show you I'll go into more detail, but in short you have to cut off the structures on the outside so the dragons don't go around the base, but instead go towards the centre to kill the air defences. There is many variants of how to funnel, you can do it with your BK, a couple of dragons or both. Number 3. Once dragons are deployed, make sure your loons are deployed immediately after. The objective is for your dragons to tank the damage while your loons take out the defences. So really there is only 3 simple rules to achieve a 3 star, and we will watch the replays to show you how these rules are in action. So let's have a look at the replays, the first two demonstrate a standard attack and a third showing when it is better to use 3 lightning spells to snipe an air defense. And welcome to the first replay, so principle 1 is we've decided which side we want to attack from, so we've decided to go the southeast side with this base, so we're going to clear the left and right side of where we want to go. So in this case, Carhart has opted to put his BK in to clear the left side um, of his attack, and he's put one drag on the far right side there to clear that barracks and then going to that army camp to create a funnel for the main body. So as you can see, the main body of dragons are going for that dark elixir storage and they'll make their way towards the center because the structures closest to them um, are going towards the center. So as soon as he gets the dragons in, he's got the loons coming from behind and he's dropped a really good rage spell um, and he'll get those loons behind to catch that rage spell as well. As you can see, the loons are going to the center under heal spell as well uh, to knock out those air defenses, which is really crucial. So once you get those air defenses down, you pretty much uh, have won the raid against the base. Another good thing about drag loon raid is that you don't have to lure the clan castle troops. Uh, if deployed right, the dragons should take care of the clan castle troops. And also, if the air sweeper um, is facing one way that you're worried about, maybe come from behind the air sweeper so the air sweeper effect uh, doesn't affect the dragon so there's a good three star by Carhartt he's only got a few defenses to go and a good rate is when you have loons left over and he'll knock out that last archer tower so let's go on to the second raid uh, to demonstrate all the three principles again and welcome to the second raid so we've got uh, two dragons doing the funneling system now he could have maybe put the uh, dragons um, a little bit further out uh, but this turns out to be a good raid anyway so he's got the funneling system where he's made a clearance for the main body of uh, dragons um, to head down to the center and I love how the deployed he deployed the loons right behind the dragons and um, he'll perform some good rage spells in a second and those dragons will get that rage spell and head straight towards the center where the air defenses are. So the dragons are coming uh, to assist the uh, loons now to knock out those clan castle troops. Um, you'll find the clan castle troops will attract uh, the dragons anyway once they start shooting at them and um, those loons are going to go around now and uh, destroy the rest of the defenses around the center there and uh, the the 280 is already down and those dragons will kill the last AD and that's pretty much a three star once those ADs are gone and he's because he's got a lot of dragons left 
He's got the BK going around that side to assist uh, clearing the structures, um, but there'll be no problem with time here um, as he's got around a six or seven dragons left. Okay, so the reason why uh, the loon out of the clan castle didn't come out straight away at the start is because loons can't attack the dragons, um, so it has to wait for a ground troop uh, to be deployed uh, so it can come out of the clan castle. So there we go, that's a good 3 star by Tonyal. And I wanted to show you the last raid, and uh, I'm not going to go too much uh, into it, but you can use 3 lightning spells in a scenario where you've got 1 AD either in the center or away from the 2 other ADs. Um, and you, those other 2 ADs have to be close to the edge, um, because you've got to realize that there's no more spells that you can use um, to get to the air defenses once you use 3 lightning spells um, to knock out 1 AD. So, here we go, this is going to be a quick raid, I'm going to fast forward it a little bit for you and um, there's no clan castle troops in this one but uh, it does work anyway because the dragons will smash the clan castle troops once they come out and um, so that's another technique you can use um, if you've got that scenario where the two air defenses are on the edge and one's uh, separate and you just kill the separate one um, with three lightning spells. So there we go. Um, there's the third raid. Hope you guys enjoyed those uh, raids in the tutorial. And if you did, smack that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys next episode. Later, guys.